The external bevel gingivectomy is usually preferred to the internal one when there are natural teeth and pseudo pockets and compact fibrous tissues are present. Using a periodontal probe, a measurement is made to evaluate the depth of the pseudo pockets and taking measurements on the vestibular aspect, a puncture is made using the probe in order to have a small drop of blood which indicates the depth of the pseudo pockets. The same procedure is repeated on each tooth for which a gingivectomy must be carried out. In this case, the pseudo pockets are only present on the vestibular aspect. Once all the punctures have been made, a 15C blade is used to make a perpendicular incision which is not beveled and which will reach the vestibular aspect of all the reference points which are clearly visible. Once this horizontal incision has been terminated, a new incision is made within the sulcus which, if it has been carried out correctly, will reach the first horizontal incision and so a secondary flap can be lifted and its simple removal will be directly proportional to the quality of the incision previously carried out. If these incisions have been made in an optimal way, it will be possible to easily remove the whole flap. At the moment, the gingival architecture is a horizontal step which has little to do with the physiology. Since it is very fibrous tissue, a large grain olive shaped diamond burr must be used. Initially, this thick keratinized gingiva is modelled by carrying out a bevel. It is basically a sloping plane on the vestibular aspect with all the aspect projected externally and this is the reason for its name, external bevel gingivectomy. This sloping plane on the vestibular aspect, which will give a scalloped physiological aspect to the tissue, is made with various instruments. Initially a very big diamond burr was used, and then it is perfect, perfected with a very fine 40 micron diamond burr. Initially a very big diamond burr was used and then it is perfected with a very fine 40 micron diamond burr. An ultrasound ablator is used to go over the incision to remove any little fragments which have been left behind, a small operation which is very effective. A small operation which is very effective. It is possible to see healing after three weeks. Finally, healing after one year, where the reconstruction of all the vestibular abrasions can also clearly be seen. And so we can see the difference between before and after.